right. Fifth grade questions about this test again. I remind you that you know if you missed one on this one, you're gonna miss it tomorrow unless you figure out why you did it wrong. You made a mistake. That's one thing. Another. Ava Russell. Number five. Ava says, I don't know how I got number five. No, let's take a look at number five. Wait, is that the tally mark one? Yeah. What, what did you get? No, I just said tally marks. So yeah. Does that you up? <laughs> did you look at your test? Caleb, how about for you? Um, number 19, we're supposed to add and then add the Number 19, the question is on the table is, oh, Caleb asked the ever-burning question, which we've talked about numerous times. When you do a missing number problem, what are you supposed to do, Ella? Oh, no. So young. Maybe you add, but that's not what I'm asking you. In order to know whether you add or subtract or multiply or divide to figure that process out, I've told you once, not twice, but probably 18 thousand times you have to do what, Jameson? The opposite. Not always. If you can't get that in your mind, you're going to get them wrong if you say you always do the opposite, because that is not always true either. David, think of an easy subtraction problem. Maybe it's 6 minus 4 is 2. If you're missing the first number like I'm missing here, if I didn't know this was a 6, what do I do to the 4 and the 2? Add them together, which is the same thing you will do with these two. You will add the 2 together. Now, somebody's out there saying, well, that is the opposite. Well, yes, in this case, you do the opposite, but that is not the case on every problem where you're missing a number. And you can't, you cannot get in the mindset that that's always the case, because you will get probably one in every three or four problems wrong, because it doesn't always. If you are missing this number here, actually, you actually subtract. It's different at different times, so you cannot just say always do the opposite. Always, if you think of an easy problem like this one, do it there. James? Um, four number two, the number two is three, and then the also do the time. Does it say to do both of them? Yes. The, the answer is yes, you should. If it says to do both. Find the once answer by adding, once by multiplying. Other questions on the test there? Let's see. Number three. Number three, what is the sum of 350 and 467? What does sum mean, Lex? Oh, that's right. Sum means to add. 350 and 467. And again, on tomorrow's test, Sam and Amelia, you guys going to have trouble sitting next to each other. You do? Is that what? Are you going to have trouble sitting next to each other? No. Oh, okay. Let's check. Uh, I will tell you again, tomorrow's test won't take you very long to do. It's always in your best interest to go back and check over each and every problem. Just you catch one mistake, you raise your grade by a half a grade there. Jameson? Well, after like the beginner test time, would we get to do the, um, the thing we did last time with the line? Yes, I do. I will have another extra credit for it for you. Yes. Any other questions over the test before we forge to new and uncharted territories? What? No? All right, take out a blank piece of paper, then yes, we are going to take some. Yes.